I've been working on some signs, um, one on the left, one on the right. I'm going to show you how to do a sign. So to do one on a building, um, you would start with making a window. We're going to do one right up above, which is basically the same procedure. You start with an edge, so a vertical line. And then we're going to go down to the right and down to the left. Anchor up with my vanishing point. Now when I go down to the left, I'm only going to do a little bit because I just want to do like an edge. And then I'll do two verticals, one on the left and one on the right. The left one is going to be very close. The right one much further away. And then I want to make it look three-dimensional. We have a front and a side, but not a bottom. So I take the bottom of the left and right side and do opposite vanishing point. So the right one, I go down to the left. The left one, I go down to the right. I didn't go far enough. Well, this looks like it's floating. So I could do different things. I could either a post that goes straight down underneath, right? Let's cut off go around it. Or I could do some sort of a thing on the back that doesn't necessarily go to the vanishing point. Kind of like the posts. We got a billboard up there. So we want to put letters on it. Um, first, we make um, the basic track, like you did in first grade, when you learning how to write. So a guide to help us out. Line up with the right vanishing point, because it's going towards the right very lightly. Draw a line. And bottom, draw a line, and somewhere in the middle, right here, we're going to do a guide. So a little dashed line, something to help us line up stuff. So if we're going to do an E first. We do nice and straight up and down. People end up tipping these and they look goofy. So the E should be, the back should be straight up and down. Now, these points tip. So they tip down, down, and down. I should also use my ruler to the end is going to be the same. I'm going to make the little part of the E a little smaller and I can fill that out. And I'll gonna do the left and right side. Do two verticals. And they're gonna get a little smaller as they get further away. And we wanna round 
up the bottom and the top. Super straight up and down. Make sure it's straight. And then these bumps tip. Now they're starting to tip big time as we're getting close to the end of the sign. As it gets further away, it tips more. Shade this in to look more 3D. That's essentially how you make letters and signs. <laughs>